America, it seems appropriate to speak of things Hebrew, like the language. It's a tongue many people find hard to learn and understand, but as Mar Morgan reports, star pupils come in the most unlikely packages. Meet Vivi, an ordinary-looking dog. Maybe if you've been shopping for a computer locally, you've seen him with his master, David Bonello, who works at a computer store. <laughs> and you may have also heard David talking to Vivi, not in English, but in Hebrew or in Arabic, for those are the only languages the well-trained dog responds to. She was born in Kiryat Shimona on the border of Lebanon. Uh, I found her after a motor attack huddling up under a bus. And I would have normally trained her in, he in English, but I was learning Hebrew at the time and needed somebody to practice with who wouldn't correct me when I made mistakes. So she was my uh, sounding board. But Vivi has well. done more than help David with his language studies. According to her master, a former veterinary student, Vivi has helped change the Israelis' attitude about pets, especially dogs. David says throughout the ages, anti-Semitics have trained dogs to attack Jews, and many Israelis fear them. But with the dog tricks and humane society work in Israel, David says that's changing. The kids would always run away saying, there's a dog, there's a dog, and they run away. Well, one day as we were coming by, the kids all screamed, there's a dog, there's a dog. They started to run away, and one said, that's no dog, that's Vivi. And they all came up and started petting her. A new city farm, including a humane society, is being built in downtown Ascalon. That's near the Gaza Strip. Well, she can say, yes, she can wish everybody happy holidays. Vivi, Vivi, hug some air. No, no, she might be. Hug some air? No, okay, very good. In Medford, I'm Mara Morgan, Channel 10 News. <laughs> That's our news for tonight. We leave you with...